The American Numismatic Society received a beautiful new book today, Irredimenta, Numismatic Treasures of a Renaissance Collector, by John Connolly. We'll spend a few minutes unboxing it for you to show you why it's so special. A few years ago, the author visited the printing and graphic arts section at Harvard University's Houghton Library, where he discovered manuscript type 411. Inside the bound manuscript, Connolly discovered 1,220 pen and ink illustrations of ancient coins comprising the collection of Andrea Loredan, a Venetian patrician known in the 1550s and 1560s as a passionate connoisseur of antiquities. This two-volume set is slip-cased, stamped in copper foil, and is printed with the texture of the original manuscript's paper, the reverse featuring enlarged images from one of the leaves. The case contains both a text volume and a plates volume so that they can be used side by side. Cash strapped, Lord Anne commissioned a draftsman to draw his entire collection, creating a sales catalog that circulated among potential buyers. The catalog, however, contained no text, only images with which to entice the viewer, becoming irredimenta, or something that keeps one's mind preoccupied. Our book begins with a 46-page illustrated introductory essay on the history of this astonishing manuscript, its creation and use, and how it fits in within the context of Renaissance collecting, connoisseurship, and antiquarianism. The reader is introduced to several fine examples of draftsmanship so exact in their detail and reproduction that it has been used to identify individual specimens that survive in modern collections. The centerpiece of the text volume is its massive 350-page catalog, which contains exhaustive entries on each coin, identifying the metal, recording the diameters, identifying the figures on the obverse and reverse of each coin, recording the inscriptions, providing bibliography, and also offering lucid explanations of each specimen and the story behind their fabrication. The catalog is followed by indexes of mints, names, and subjects. The second volume is bound in a soft leatherette cover stamped in gold, an imitation of the Harvard manuscript itself. It contains 324 full-color plates reproduced from Harvard's high-definition scans acquired by the author. Each plate is labeled with a folio number, as well as catalog numbers for easy cross-reference. To take a random example, plate 65 contains dazzling, detailed drawings of bronzes, Ptolemies 2, 3, 4, and 13, the head of Zeus Ammon on the obverse, and one or more eagles on the reverse, occasionally with thunderbolts. The inscriptions are clear and easily read. The plates are untouched and retain the occasional splotches and stains acquired over time. The draftsman's handwritten numbers mark each corner of the folio. Most pages are filled with drawings and occasional circles, perhaps indicating a gap in Andrea Loredan's collection. Scholars of numismatics, Renaissance studies, antiquarianism, history, art history, and classics will all find this set to be of great use. It is the first of its kind. Irredimenta, Numismatic Treasures of a Renaissance Collector by John Connolly is volume 31 in the ANS's Numismatic Studies series. It is priced at $140 for society members and $200 for non-members. To place your order, visit the ANS bookstore at www.numismatics.org or call the ANS at 212-571-4470.